have like an uh, evening routine? Run. Run? Yes. Just run home. <laughs> run Just home. Just make it back home, avoid yeah. doctor bills. Okay. Hello, my name is Sam. I'm a variety streamer and one of the games that I love to stream is Stardew Valley. Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm an organic urban farmer. I was doing a lot of uh, other like really comfy, cozy games because it's just so nice whenever you're stressed and want to play something with your community and relax. And a group of my community members told me about Stardew Valley and how much I would probably enjoy it. So we all hopped on the game together and started farming away. This is kind of a first to see these worlds collide, but the collision makes sense. I'm curious to see, you know, like how it will translate. I feel like I will see harvesting and watering and seeding the little farmer bot, you know, like roaming around and taking care of the farm. Probably like some kind of digitized progression of like a plant growing to harvest. I think you're gonna be surprised at how well you just answered that. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Maybe I'm the, the gaming expert too. <laughs> this is actually her show. <laughs> All right, let's get into some Stardew Valley. You basically acquired this farm from your, your grandfather through his will. He had unfortunately passed, and then you get to come to this lovely valley, Stardew Valley. You basically get something that's a little dilapidated, and okay. you're gonna go through and give it some love. Yeah. Make sure you get all of the sticks and stuff up, because you want to collect wood for your chicken coop and mm. your other barns and your silos and you know things like that to make sure you can build up your farm. You want to make sure that you are in bed by 2 a.m. in oh, this game. Yeah, okay. you can't go past it. If you are out past your bedtime, basically, you uh -huh. will fall asleep. <laughs> Good old Dr. Harvey. Sometimes Dr. Harvey will find you and charge you oh. for, for taking care of you, yeah. Because we wake up at 6 a.m. in the day. What about you? That's actually pretty close. I would say okay. around like 7 a.m., but farming okay. has definitely turned me into a morning person. I, I love it though, as a morning person who doesn't farm. So let's go and buy some seeds actually. You've got to pee ears. All right, what do you usually farm in autumn time? Zucchinis want to make oh, really? eggs to grow, yeah. Pumpkins and corn, that, that works great too. Uh, yam. Oh, that's my favorite. That's really interesting because yams actually grow from tubers. They don't really grow from seed. Is there a certain location that you would plant? Like your pumpkins compared to your yams? I normally do like one crop per row. In one row, it's going to be the same plant. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. If you put certain amounts of seeds together, they will grow into like a larger one. You could actually grow a very large pumpkin if you put, I believe it's six of them together. Pumpkins are normally planted pretty far out from each other because they grow a lot of leaves that just sprawl everywhere. So if you have too oh. many plants in one condensed area, they're all competing for nutrients. So they're actually not going to do so well. <laughs> it sounds like one. here, it, it would <laughs> yeah. thrive. It would grow a really big it would, pumpkin. Yeah, it would kind of converge into one, yeah. big, one big vegetable. <laughs> So I'm assuming that doesn't happen. Not quite. They don't turn no. into one pumpkin. No. There's an option to basically have like bats oh, come to your farm no. or See, like we have monsters, slimes. but they're more like aphids. What is an aphid? Oh, it's like a little aphid, isn't it? I think it is an aphid. They're like just pests that get into plants. So like sometimes with their Swiss chard, they'll kind of curl in, the leaves will Aww. curl in, and it's because the aphids have basically like taken over the Swiss chard. So if you like peel back the chard, you'll just see oh. a bunch of aphids and they reproduce like crazy. They're really hard to, it's like having ants in your house. Like it's just, there's no stopping them. Yeah, the it's interesting day. that the farmers just kind of like standing on the soil because normally you would want to avoid that because that really compresses the soil. So I'm sure with farming, weather and stuff is important. So in this game, if you go up to the TV that's in your home, you can look at the weather report for tomorrow. Mm. So tomorrow it's going to be cloudy with gusts of wind throughout the day, no rain. Which, of course, if it does rain, then you're able to have your crops already watered the yeah. next day so you can run around and do whatever else you need to gather. And we're gonna go to sleep for the night so that we can wake up bright and early. When I'm farming, we definitely make use of a lot of weather reports. Mm -hmm. So if it's raining, we uh, would run like a drip irrigation system. Okay. And so it's all kind of automated. So we would turn that off so that we're not like, you know, double watering everything. We don't get a lot of those because it's Southern California. And yeah. It, we're kind of in a drought. Like massively. With, of course, your farms, you're gonna have, as you were saying, pests or mm -hmm. different things that are gonna come and try to ruin your crops. Mm -hmm. So with this, you can also place down some scarecrows. We did have some scarecrows as well. I don't know if they really scared off the rodents. You know, they're like kind of city rodents, so <laughs> nothing <laughs> can really, yeah, it. they're ready for anything. A lot of the times we just have to say like that we're sharing with nature. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of planting seeds in my own 
fields. Normally we don't do direct seeding. We'll usually just like do it in smaller seed trays, but I like how there's the autonomy of you get to decide like what crops to plant in each row, because mm -hmm. I definitely do that as well, you know, kind of mapping out the fields. Yeah. Another thing that we like, like to think about with the soil is just like the health of the soil. So like often we'll use radishes to aerate the soil so that it's not just like loose soil that's like not growing anything. Yeah. So that's kind of like a hack that we like to employ, okay. especially because we don't do a lot of tilling. And tilling is usually the thing that helps like to like keep the soil really aerated. Some people are very staunchly like no till. Conventionally, you would till a lot that helps to break up the soil so that the seeds will have a lot of space to grow. So why would it need it then? Because it can mess up with the microorganisms of, that are like living in the okay. soil. So like soil is very alive. There's also like a whole web of life that's happening that that's keeps so the soil healthy. And if you don't have microorganisms living in there, you have dirt, which is just dead soil. In this game, you actually can get, it's called like speed grow. As we were talking about profitability, things to grow faster and yeah. potentially to have better stars. Uh -huh. So you can grow something and it can just be regular or it could be like a gold star or a purple star, which are really great because then those will sell for more. Oh. Um, yeah. It's getting dark though. Well, it is getting very, so I would go ahead and hightail it out of here. Okay. Do you have like an uh, evening up. routine? Run. Run? Yes. Just run home. <laughs> run just home. make it back home, avoid yeah. dark. Dr. Bills, okay. Oh, oh I'm like. You're about to pass out. <laughs> I'm on the door, go to the bed, go on. You gotta go up a little. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> there you go, Woof. you made it. Okay. Okay, we'll talk about fishing though. <laughs> so now we the waketh again, 6 a.m. bright early. Okay, morning routine, mm -hmm. go check the weather. Okay. Tomorrow, it's gonna be the same as today. How do you manage to get everything done in a day? I do tend to actually play this with multiplayer, so friends having their own little jobs really helps with utilizing the amount of time that you have in a day. Aside from just going around and fishing or using your crops, you can also forage. Yeah, I'm curious um, about the foraging and like the other you. things. The money makers. <laughs> money makers. Your crop is gonna be your biggest money maker. So okay. obviously you can forage around your own farm, but all around your uh, valley or your village, you have little things like this. So this is a grape that I can't pick up. There it goes. Aww. And that is something that you can forage on the ground or you can also grow as you saw. Ooh. Actually, have you ever made wines or anything? We have not, no. Because in this game, That'd you can turn cool. anything into wine. It's kind really? of ridiculous. Yeah. Like a yam? You can a make cauliflower wine. wine, yeah. Cauliflower wine. Yeah. Wow. Which actually, I feel like that would be quite trendy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like for us, we don't forage as much, but I've definitely seen around the farm, like we call them like volunteer plants. So oh. around a tree, there'll just be like a tomato that grew there. The seeds ended up carrying there through the wind oh, or something like and it mushroom? just ends up growing by itself. And I've eaten those tomatoes, they're really good. Oh, look, there's a little seed. Mm. So what you would do, or what we would do, is we would plant a bunch of trees after we've picked up their seeds and everything. Yeah. So that we can make sure that we have constant reproduction of wood. Do you ever prune them or do you only chop them? Only chop. That's really interesting. We yeah. usually, we do the opposite. So like normally really? we prune as opposed to just like completely chopping down the tree. Okay. It's probably not like, very useful here, but can I teach you a tip about pruning that I learned? Please. <laughs> With the, the trees that we prune, you want it to have like a dome shape so that it gets the most sunlight exposure. And oh. the way you know like which branches to prune is we call it like the four Ds, which is dead, diseased, deranged, and damaged. Cool, cool. Deranged is like a little hard. Uh, yeah, but that's, that's yeah. a different word. <laughs> Everybody's going to the, the saloon. Because oh. it's Friday. Friday night's where it's bumping. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Friday night party. Friday night party. Okay. <laughs> Let's head back to the farm okay. and make sure that we are getting rested and taking care of our crops. So we're on our way to chickens. I have worked with chickens. <laughs> Whenever you worked with your chickens, what was it that you mostly did? Was it just gathering eggs? I often cleaned the chicken coop, which was just basically me scraping out all their poop. Um, Sounds about right. Yeah, I would literally <laughs> just kind of like hunch into their little chicken coop and start raking the, the hay. <laughs> yeah, we had like over 60, so there was like a lot to... Of chickens? Yeah. That actually is quite a lot. I also grew up with chickens and goats and pigs oh and God. stuff. Oh my Yeah. Okay, so you get it. So we had seven acres of land, so they would just roam. And then yeah. it was fun to, it, it was like Easter every morning. Oh my God. Trying to run around. Literally. <laughs> where the, the eggs, eggs are. Yeah. yeah. All right, we can construct a farm building and there's Ooh. our coop. So ah. what you'll wanna do is click on build 
And then, this is where I usually utilize oh, cool. people. Oh, cool, whoa, it's just like, yeah, pick your location and boom. So if you are playing multiplayer with people, then you can be like, oh, I wanna put it in this area, can you go and remove uh, that? And you can actually watch them. Got it. We'll just stick it over here. Nice. Because then you can always go back and move things whoa. later. Oof. Yeah, so now she's gonna just start working on it tomorrow. So from tomorrow, it'll be three days. Yeah, if you can play with people, mm -hmm. do so because okay. it helps progression of your farm go faster. You can make sure all of the village events go really well. So if mm -hmm. you're making sure that you put in the proper fruits or vegetables into certain like soups for the luau, mm -hmm. or making sure that you have like the best harvest for the fall festival, it makes it more fun that way to yeah, me. Yeah, it's like way more collaborative, yeah. it's way more interactive. I feel like you have more time to enjoy a lot of it as well. Chicken coop. We'll get the chicken, chicken eggs coop. later. <laughs> wow, the coop looks great. It does. It's like as big as the farmer's house. <laughs> <laughs> so remember that making sure that you incubate the eggs and then the chickens will be little chicks and you have to make sure you keep feeding them every day and uh, giving them like love so you can love. go and love on them because yes. that helps them grow up and produce yeah. better eggs. Well, we have nice. built a chicken coop. We have uh, harvested some sunflowers. Yes. And we, we've watered, you know, what we could, but so let's say that that's a good day, a good job well done, and head to bed. Right. I always go to bed at 10.30 a.m. What about you? Oh, every day. 10.30 a.m., that's my time to sleep. <laughs> Crawl into your bed. All right, long day. Long day. <laughs> Well, that was really fun. Oh my gosh, yeah. thanks for showing me around. Of course, of course. <laughs> Thank you for educating me on how actual harvesting <laughs> and seeding and everything works. Happy to. The fact that the, the soil matters. I learned about the tilling. I didn't realize that that was something that could be negative. And I feel like it did a really great job at trying to mimic the kind of real world conditions, wanting to water things, wanting to keep your energy high. Yeah. And like, if you don't sleep enough, then like your energy will be lower. You know, just like, I feel like it was very detail oriented in that way. And then another thing is you just can't get everything done in a day. Don't let the perfectionism get to you. And I think it's all about just like doing what you can and then taking solace in that and then like moving on to the next day. So. That definitely makes me wanna <laughs> try it again. Yeah, That's yeah. so encouraging. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Sarah for being here and for playing Stardew Valley with me. I really <laughs> hope that you enjoyed it yes. and get to enjoy more of the digital farming world yourself. Thank you.